Hey, what's up everyone? It's Asad here with 52 Cards. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna do a full review for the Black Mint deck, the upcoming Black Mint deck. A couple of days ago, I did a little bit of a sneak preview for these cards, uh, but I'm gonna show you everything in this video. I'm gonna show you all of the artwork and uh, just talk in greater detail about this deck and about this project. So stay tuned and uh, let's get into it. All right, before we get into this, you should know that this right here is a prototype deck. The eventual deck, the final product, is going to be printed by the United States Playing Card Company. And, uh, you know, it's going to be printed on really high quality stock. The card handling is going to be top notch, top of the line. All right. And uh, we're running a Kickstarter project in just a few days from now, on February 1st is when it launches, in order to raise the necessary funds to actually get the deck produced. All right. But this right here will give you a good idea of the aesthetics of the deck the design and what it's going to look like. So this right here is the box. Very simple, very clean, minimal design on the front. And then on the back, we have the back design pattern. So I think it's a really cool contrast between the front and the back of the box. Uh, once again, this box is also a prototype. The eventual box will be printed on really nice paper. And uh, depending on how much funding we're able to get, we're gonna set up a number of stretch goals. And if we hit those benchmarks, then we'll be able to uh, make the box even cooler. Okay, things like embossing and uh, custom seal, those things cost quite a bit of extra money to do, but if we raise enough funds, uh, we'll, we'll get it done and make the box extra special. So uh, let's open up the cards and I'll give you a close up look at the back design. This is the crux of the deck right here. It's the reason why we want to get it produced so badly. It's just a beautiful back design. It's classy, it's elegant, it's luxurious. Uh, but at the same time, it's a very presentable deck of cards. It looks like a classic playing card design. It resembles a casino deck, which is just a really nice balance to have. This deck was designed by Christopher Lacoste, a really talented designer based out of Toronto, Canada. And uh, I'll show you the faces in a second, but he just did an incredible job with the entire deck. Uh, I should also mention that the back design has thin borders, which uh, makes spreads and fans look extra nice. On top of all of that, the deck features an amazing marking system that was designed by my friend Jeremy Griffith. It's uh, incredibly subtle, yet easy to read, and uh, it's pretty much my favorite part about this deck. So I'm gonna make an entire separate video about the marking system pretty soon, so you can stay tuned for that, just because there's quite a lot to talk about there. Uh, but for now, let's get into the rest of the deck, and I'll show you some of the faces as well. All right, so let me show you some of the cards that the deck is gonna come with. So here's uh, what the Joker looks like. Um, there's only going to be one Joker in this deck, and that's because I just think instead of having two Jokers, we can take that extra Joker and do something better with it. I think there's more valuable cards that I can provide rather than just a second Joker. Personally, I've never had a use for two Jokers. Uh, I like having one Joker in the pack uh, because, you know, sometimes if I want to set up for a trick, so for example, let's say the Joker's somewhere random in the deck, and I want to set up for an ace trick, um, sometimes what I'll do is, in, under the motion of pretending to remove the jokers, I'll be calling the aces to the top of the deck. So it gives justification to, you know, spread through the cards and look at them and, you know, control any cards that you want to prepare for your trick. So for that reason, I think it's a good idea to have at least one joker. Second joker, uh, there's nothing there. Like, there's no, there's no point. I know some people like to do sandwich tricks with uh, two jokers, uh, but just, just use two aces. Okay, so instead of the extra joker, uh, we're going to be including a double backer card and then also a double facer card, which most decks, you know, double backer, quite a few custom decks will have those. Uh, but we're also going to be including a double facer, which has some really incredible applications. A double facer meaning a different card on each side. And, uh, you know, each deck is coming uh, bundled with an instructional course. So that course is going to be teaching uh, a number of applications for double backers, for double facers, for marked cards and uh, it's gonna cover some other material revolving around other gaffes and gimmicks. So keep in mind that this is much more than just a deck project, this is also a teaching project. And uh, my goal here is to provide as much value as possible. So for the cost of a deck, you're gonna get a deck plus a course, right? Uh, okay, what else? So let me show you the Ace of Spades. I love the Ace of Spades. It's just very clean. Uh, let me actually zoom in and give you a better look on the spade. All right, so take a look at that. Uh, just a really classy Ace of Spades. It says the Mint Collection, Luxury Planning Cards. And then this is a Latin phrase. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. But the rough translation is 
uh, the world wants to be deceived, so let it be deceived. And uh, I just I just love this Ace of Spades design. It's clean, it's modern, and uh, just uh, really elegant. We also have custom court cards, which look really cool. I'll pull a couple out for you. Uh, the reason I like these court cards is because, again, they resemble classic court card design, but they're completely custom. Everything in this deck is completely custom. All the faces, all the backs. The faces use custom fonts, custom pips, um, but you know, great care was taken to make sure that the faces of the cards resemble an ordinary pack of cards so that it's very presentable and so that it's a worker's deck, okay? So here's a few of uh, the court cards. You'll notice that uh, it follows traditional court styling, but uh, it, it's been customized. You can see a little bit of the mint touch in the design pattern. And uh, let me show you a few more. These court cards are really great. Okay, I won't show all of them, um, but you get the idea. Okay, so this has been an overview of the upcoming Black Mint deck. If you like what you see, then uh, you can sign up for the waitlist on the screen here and in the description box down below, and you'll receive an email as soon as the deck launches. It's gonna be available on Kickstarter on February 1st. Okay, there are gonna be some early bird specials, promotions. So if you join that waitlist, uh, you know, you'll get to the page before everyone else and you'll be able to take advantage of that. Um, but yeah, that's the deck. I, I hope you like it. I would really appreciate your support on getting these produced. And uh, I'll be updating you with more information about this project in the coming weeks. Okay, so thanks again for tuning in. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video.